I have to say that I had a dislike to the electric hand planer until I made this small jointer with it. In this video I will show how to attach the planer to a wooden board to use it as a jointer. That way I will work safely and I will join wooden bars easily. I will put the hand planer in such a way that the base is exactly at a 90 degrees angle with the surface of the table. I have a cross piece to support the bars I use in my table, so I have to separate the hand planer from it. I measure how much my cross piece protrudes, and at that distance plus some millimeters, I draw a parallel line in the board where I will put the hand planer. I put the electric hand planer with the opening to remove the shavings facing the board and the protruding casing right in the parallel line we draw before. With a pencil I draw the shape of the protruding casing that touches the board. I can't forget the opening to remove the shavings. I enlarge the opening to remove the shavings drawing. I draw a line 1 cm from the casing's drawing. I drill some holes and I cut the shape of the casing with my jigsaw. The other line will help me to shape the hole with a rasp, so that the casing fits into it. I shape the hole and I check how fine the planar casing fits. If I need to enlarge the inside hole, I rasp from below. That way I won't chip the board. At the end I had to connect both holes so that the casing fits. The metal sheet in the base and the blades must touch the board. I must make sure that I can put the metal sheet at an 80 degrees angle and parallel to the edge of the board. I had to rasp 1 mm in the front of the planer. Now it is parallel to the edge of the board. I put a piece of wood below the handle and I draw the contour. Once again I use the rasp to carve the shape of the handle in the block. I carve until I can put the handle at a 90 degrees angle with the board. If I want a perfect fit I will need to use a chisel and sandpaper. If I paint the handle with a pencil and I put it on the block I can see where to remove more material. I must be patient removing material and checking until the electric planer is at a perfect 90 degrees angle. Once I have it at 90 degrees I clamp the block to the board. I must be careful to keep it in place while I clamp it. I turn the board and I fix the block with some screws. I check again and I realize that I need to remove some more material. Now it is at a perfect 90 degrees angle, at least all the perfect my square is. I draw the inside part of the handle in a small piece of wood and I cut it. With this small sheet of wood and the piece I cut before, I nearly reach the height of the handle. I put them in the inside part of the handle, activating the trigger. I make a couple of guide drills in the pieces of wood. I make the same in the other side of the handle. And I screw them. I will screw a piece of wood on them. In the front of the electric planer I have a hole to install a guide. I mark the board using a screwdriver through that hole. 
and I drill a 6mm hole. I insert a 6mm threader rod in the planer hole. I put the planer in place, inserting the threader rod in the hole in the board. I put a washer and a blocking nut, both in the side of the planer and below the board, and I tighten them. I check that the depth regulation works. I put the piece of wood on the handle. It swings to make sure it will press the handle when I screw it. I make sure the electric planer is perfectly fixed to the board. I screw the board to the table frame. That way I can use it as a planer with my sliding guide. I root the grooves the same way I did in the table, just because I thought I would need them to move the sliding guide. Later I realized that in my case I don't need the grooves in this board. I made a couple of mortises in the cross piece and I screwed there two hinges. The hinges must be even with the top of the cross piece. I put the board with the electric planer on the table frame and I screw the hinges from below. Now if I remove the screws I can put the board vertical. And I can use the planer as a jointer. I must clamp the board to the legs. I can't forget to use a safety switch to turn it on and off.